was chill vibes early morning at the entrance to the colorful Rasta village, which was set up in the scenic Long Bay Beach Park, the heart of the grill seven mile strip in western Jamaica. Naturally, the Roots Reggae and Culture magazine was front and center at the Rastafari Roots Fest information booth near the entrance to the park. The Roots magazine was one of the media sponsors of Roots Fest and the latest issue was filled with articles and pictures about the launching of the event and information about the schedule and performers. One of the mottos of the Roots magazine is, quote, teaching youth the truth about their roots and culture, unquote. And the Rastazine certainly had a good opportunity to do just that, what with all the people, young and older, passing by the Roots table. The columns and walls of the information booth both inside and outside, were covered with written information and pictures, summarizing and highlighting the history of the Rastafari movement, the use of the international herb for sacramental and medical purposes, and about reggae as a form of Rastafari message music and social protest. In essence, Rastafari Roots Fest is a comprehensive and educational combination cultural and musical event that celebrates Rastafari ideology, liberty, food and culture. The associated marijuana expositions focused on current developments taking place within the emerging cannabis industry worldwide. The seminars featured a number of international speakers, including neurosurgeon Dr. Anthony Hall from Florida and members from the Oaksterdam University in California. The vendors and exhibitors at the 2017 Rastafari Roots Fest included the Westmoreland Hemp and Ganja Farmers Association as well as the aforementioned Oaksterdam University, which has been a major sponsor of Rastafari Roots Fest since the beginning. The Cannabis Licensing Authority of Jamaica, otherwise known as the CLA, also had an information booth at Rastafari Roots Fest. Persons engaged in the legitimate medical marijuana business in Jamaica must be licensed by the CLA, which has five categories of licenses for cultivation, transportation, processing, retail, and for research and development. To date, the CLA has already received well over 200 applications for medical cannabis licenses, but as of Roots Fest 2017, only three entities had been granted such licenses. Ras Ayavi, the CEO of Rastafari in Ainiti and the chief promoter of Rastafari Roots Fest, is the Rastafari community's representative on the board of the CLA. According to Ras Ayavi, Roots Fest was conceptualized as an annual ganja festival, consumer expo, trade show, and growers competition. The inaugural Rastafari Roots Fest in November 2015 was the first ganja-exempt event to be held in Jamaica after the island's government legally recognized the sacramental and religious rights of the Rastafari community earlier that same year. Ganja-exempt means that marijuana can legally be sold, bought, possessed, smoked and used by one and all at the Rastafari Roots Fest. However, patrons must be 18 years of age and older in order to attend the festival. As can be seen, all kinds of herb was readily available, as were all kinds of arts and craft and exotic culinary tastes and samples. A chunk of the Negril Beach was fenced off for the exciting live stage shows that climaxed each night of the three-day festival. Headlining the entertainment were artists including Bushman, Capleton, Kabaka Pyramid, Jay Tosh, Tabby Diamond, Admiral Tibet, and Natisha Stream. The alcohol-free event took place from Friday, December 15 to Sunday, December 17, 2017. This is Roving Roots reporter Aijabulani Tafari, live and direct in Negril, Jamaica.